Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about five real steps you can take to find your own style. So the goal of this video is to slowly start implementing these steps and then hopefully in the end, you'll kind of start to realize exactly what you really like and what you might not like. Not only will this help you save money, but you'll start to only purchase and buy things for your wardrobe that you truly, truly love. So if you do happen to be new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that red button down below. I love putting out lots of videos on fashion and style and then sometimes luxury. I love a good designer handbag, but I especially love fashion and style, so I would love for you to come back. Alrighty, so the very first step is to kind of figure out what style or vibe you find yourself gravitating towards. Now I don't think, you know, everybody has to stick to one specific genre, although whether people want to believe it or not, that's kind of what they do. They, they kind of have a style that they love and they, they try to get outside of that box, but it's really hard for them. And sometimes I think it's great to step outside of the box, but then other times I feel like it's a little bit forced and you're trying to be something you're not. And if you would just kind of embrace what you truly love, your style would just be so much better. There are tons and tons of different styles out there. There's boho, there's classic, there's more of like a black, like a gothy kind of a vibe. There's bright, fun, cheery, like lots of colors. There's very simple looks with very plain, neutral colors. There's just so many different vibes and styles out there. So what I really encourage you to do is if you're not familiar with what you truly like and what you find yourself gravitating towards, I really just recommend Pinterest. And I know Pinterest has been around for a long time. I think people kind of go in waves in and out of it where they're kind of sucked in and they're just constantly on Pinterest finding ideas. But then they kind of go maybe like a year or so and they don't really find new ideas and they kind of get away from it. So what I really encourage you to do when it comes to style is just to go on Pinterest and type in, you know, winter outfit, fall outfit, neutral outfit, or, you know, just search different styles. Start pinning exactly the styles that you just love. Like what really, really makes you happy and you're like, oh, if I could have anything, that's what it would be. But just be totally free with it. Don't specifically pick things that are different or diverse just to make a more diverse wardrobe. Just be completely honest and figure out what you really, really love. Once you've kind of nailed down a style, then that's the style that I want you to focus on. That's the kind of thing that when you're out shopping that I want you to gravitate towards. The second step that I think everybody should do and really take to heart because I feel like they kind of avoid this, but it is realizing if you are somebody that likes comfort, versus style. Now I'm not saying one is better than the other or you should pick one versus the other, but if we're all being honest, I really believe that people are usually one way or the other, whether they want to admit it or not. So for example, there are some people out there that find an item that they just absolutely love. Maybe it's a pair of shoes, maybe it's a shirt, they put it on and it's just so uncomfortable, but yet they love it and it's in style, so they don't care, they rock it, they might be in pain all day, but they love it and they wear it. And then on the opposite spectrum, there's people out there that they don't care how amazing something is or how wonderful it looks on them. If it's uncomfortable, they're not wearing it. So I think it's really important to figure out exactly what type of person you are like at the core so that you avoid buying things that you just won't wear. There's so many times that I really love a pair of shoes and I'm like, I'm going to wear these. I don't care that they make my feet hurt, but I honestly think I just fall in the comfort category and if things aren't comfortable, I just don't grab them. And so it's taken me many years to kind of realize that, but now I've realized it and in turn, I save money by not buying things I won't wear. But I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that if they love a certain handbag but it weighs 25 pounds, they don't care, they're gonna rock it. So the third step has to do with colors and usually people fall in one of three categories. So there is the colors, like people that just love rainbow, like lots of bright colors. They just wanna have so many different colors in their wardrobe. And then there's the people that just absolutely love neutrals. They love their blacks, whites, creams, beiges, browns, just anything neutral. And then there's the other people that are just a mix of everything. Like they just love the colors, but they also love neutrals. And I think most people, when I say those three options, they probably want to fall in the third category because again, they really like to be diverse. They just wanna to go to their closet and be able to pick out any outfit for any occasion and have something that fits every single possible slot. But in reality, I do think people fall more in the first or second category. Like for me, if you walk into my closet, even today, 
I really do think you see like a rainbow of colors, but that's because like growing up, I would see a shirt I really liked. And if I saw it in purple, I was like, oh, I don't have anything in like that shade of purple, so I better get it in that color. So over the years, I started to fill up my closet with every single possible like selection so that I always had something that would match something perfectly. When in reality, I just don't like lots of color. I'm not saying it's bad in any way. I just personally really like the neutral colors. That's just what I love. And so over the last few years, I've really been trying to only purchase things that I just like. Don't force yourself into buying this bright yellow shirt because you don't have a bright yellow shirt. And then the same goes for a lot of you out there that just absolutely love bright and fun colors. Some of you are probably watching my videos and I'm, you know, a lot of my hauls, I'm like, oh, I love this beige shirt. I love this gray sweater. And, you know, maybe by you watching my videos, you're like, well, I, I need to have neutrals in my closet because like, that's what Shay's saying. And I'm not saying all of you listen to me or anything. I'm just saying that, you know, we have a lot of influence from a lot of people and it's kind of like beat into our heads that we have to have everything. And I just think that we need to only have what we really like. So I guess just try to kind of determine what kind of person you are. If you just love reds, like buy another shirt in red if that's what you like. The fourth step that I have is your body type. Now this is a step that you can totally choose to ignore or something you can definitely think about. And to be totally honest, this portion that I'm gonna talk about, I honestly don't pay attention to that much, but I think it's really important to certain people out there, so I did wanna mention it. So I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but people do have specific body shapes. And honestly, I could probably do a full-blown video on this. And based on certain body shapes, there are clothes out there that really make you look better depending on what your body shape is. So there is like the pear shape, there's apple, there's rectangle, there's like inverted triangle. There's just a lot of different body shapes out there. And then based on the clothing choices you make, you can really kind of flatter or unflatter yourself. So I guess I would say maybe I'm like rectangle. I don't know. I obviously don't have much going on up top and I don't really have much going on the bottom either. Um, so maybe I'm just like this. I don't know. But for example, there are people out there that really want to accentuate their butt like they want it to look good and really kind of flatter that whereas there's other people that just want to totally hide that they want to like cover it up they just want to make it look smaller so obviously there are pieces out there that you can purchase that will kind of fit what you're looking for likewise there's people out there with really long legs and they like to accentuate that whereas there's other people that have really short legs but they like to create the illusion that they have long legs so again if this is important to you then I would definitely encourage you to really think about that before you go buying a shirt or a pair of pants or anything that might unflatter you or flatter you just kind of be mindful of that and then maybe you'll actually start wearing more of the items that you're buying alrighty so the fifth and final step that I have for you guys is if you've implemented these last four steps and you're still kind of like on the fence and you're not really sure which direction you really want to go I just highly encourage you to experiment with more affordable brands like forever 21 H&M, Zara, ASOS, I'm trying to think of other ones, uh, but just brands that are definitely more on the you know inexpensive side. Sometimes the quality might not be like perfection, but those are brands that have very classic pieces, but they also have very trendy pieces that are always changing with the seasons. That way you can purchase things and you're not spending an insane amount of money. I mean, some things can be definitely expensive, but you're still much on the lower end of things and you can really experiment with things and experiment with your style so that when you go out and you wear these pieces, if you find that you love things that you might not have expected, then you can maybe invest in a higher quality version of that same item. For the most part, I definitely think my wardrobe is on the more inexpensive side of things. I've said this before, but I really love wearing like cheaper clothes and then I can really dress it up with like a, an expensive handbag or a designer pair of shoes or something like that. With that said, there are things that I've found that I'm always grabbing out of my closet that, you know, from H&M or maybe Forever 21, it's not going to last me forever and I kind of see that it's starting to wear a lot faster. I will then invest in a higher quality or maybe like a designer piece of something similar because obviously I love it. So why not invest in it and have something that will last me a really long time? Maybe you guys will disagree with me, but I truly believe in the saying that you get what you pay for. Like I really believe that in like, all aspects of life. But I definitely, definitely see the difference and those pieces really do last me like 
10 times longer. But with all of that said, just experiment with some cheaper brands to really find and figure out what your style is. But in the end though, the most important thing is to wear and to buy what makes you happy. I just think with so many different influencers out there, including myself, if you watch my videos, maybe you're subscribed to my channel, I definitely put a lot of like clothing hauls out there, like what I'm loving, fashion mistakes, like what you shouldn't wear, what you should wear. A lot of it's in good fun. And then other things are like legitimate suggestions and recommendations, obviously. But at the same time, at the core of us, we all have our own style. I think we just need to all take a step back and realize what makes us happy. If you just buy what you actually like, then that's what you'll actually wear. And I'm telling you, you will save a lot of money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would seriously love to have you back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you again in my next video. And by the way, I have so much fun content coming up for the end of the year. We're like approaching the holidays and just, I just, I don't know. I've, I've been brainstorming so much stuff. I don't know why I'm getting into this, but thank you guys again for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye. I've been loving